Hey Pittsburgh, how you doing? Josh Miller here. Welcome to A Day in a Life. Today we're going to be hanging out with Penguins' Craig Adams. He's been kind enough to let us tag along, but in doing so, we had to wake up early. His son's on the ice right now, and then we're off to the point for the ALS walk, which is a great cause, and then we're going to have some lunch with him and his family. So enjoy, sit back, and remember, you're watching A Day in a Life with Craig Adams. Hi, this is Craig Adams. Welcome to A Day in the Life. Do you, do you guys understand? You stand here, you receive the pass from the other line, okay? He's going to skate as fast as he can this way. Then you're going to pass it to the guy across from you, and you're going to skate as fast as you can and go stand in the back of that line, okay? You know, you understand, Zach? Should only need one puck for the whole line. All right, go ahead, buddy. Pa pass it to that guy. Okay. Now go. Go skate and stand in the back of that line. All right. You don't need that. You don't need that one. Zach, 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 Zach. How cool would it be to be on this hockey team? Not only do you have Craig Adams out there, but you also have Chris Kunis and his son out there. Okay. Go. Skate, skate, skate. Owen. Or uh, Jack, Jack, Jack. Come here. Come here. You don't need a puck. You're, you're getting the puck from the other line. Okay. All right. August, right here. All right, pass it to Owen, okay? There you go, now skate to the other line. Go, go, go. August, get ready. Two hands on your stick. Don't, don't pass it, don't pass it until the other guy's looking at you and he's ready for it, okay? There you go, now go, now go. All right. There you go. Okay, no, wait, 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 wait. Who are you passing it to? Jack, get ready. All right, now wait till he's ready now. Look at him. Okay, there you go. There you go. All right, August, take a look now. Take a look. Pass it to him. Nice pass. When you get tagged, I want you to go that floor over there for a second. When you get tagged, come over here, all right? All right, the last one standing wins. Reese and Zach are the it's, okay? Okay. One, three, two, three, go. Oh, oh. 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 Okay. All right. Looks like a fun game of tag indeed, but actually they're working on their balance and speed getting on both sides of the blades. Catch him! Once that, once that puck's on your stick, right? It's not going anywhere. You don't need to look at it, right? So I can look where I want to put it. And finally, when you get done with all the drills, you get to play a little scrimmage. Go, Zach. Oh, it's so there's seven teams. But there's only room for six out here. So each, each week, one team will be on the studio ice, and six teams will be out here. Come sit, guys. Good shift, guys, good shift. Good job, August. Good job, buddy. Whoa. Hey, what are you teaching these guys over here? See that cross check? Who is that? That, that? that big kid just cross checked one of our kids. You want me to come up with something? Bats aren't fire versus ice. Well, thank you very much. Thanks, you guys, all for coming. Uh, we'll keep it short because I know we're getting anxious to get moving. So. And here we have Craig and Ann Adams leading the ALS walk. It's uh, obviously been a, a special summer for ALS. And uh, it looks like we've got the cooperation of the weather here today. We've got uh, a record-breaking day ahead of us. Um, over 3,000 walkers here today, which will set a record for the Pittsburgh walk. 
And a big part of that, obviously, is uh, we're being led today by Team Father Dennis. Yeah, obviously, you know, I lost my father-in-law last year and, uh, to ALS, and um, it's a disease that um, not a lot of people know a lot about. I, I think that's changing now with, with the whole Ice Bucket Challenge. Um, it's, a, it's a terrible diagnosis to be diagnosed with ALS, so it's important that we raise money and, and find a cure. And over the time period when they were being evaluated, nothing but good things Last year. So, I thought it was really helpful. You're very over. Are one more? Cool. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah, of course. I'll sign right back here on your little shoulder. <laughs> Sorry. I believe so. Alive, yeah. yeah. You, uh, were you there from any of the Super Bowls? Yeah, the last one. We went through Pittsburgh. Nice. Oh, the one. Yeah. It was weird. We're, I didn't we're, know anybody on my we're side. Fast fans. Yeah. <laughs> She's from Boston. The kids are Steelers fans. <laughs> we lived in uh, Franklin. Fun place. Right yeah. in the middle of both. Yeah. You're watching A Day in the Life with Josh Miller. We'll be right back. A Day in the Life is brought to you by UPMC Life Changing Medicine. Nakama Japanese Steakhouse. You've tried the rest, now try the best. Rivertown Brewing, delivering you the most enjoyable craft beer experience. Athlete Originals, original apparel designs by athletes for their fans. We'll be right back. Roller derby is not a sport for the faint of heart. I've fractured my foot, sprained my tailbone, torn both my ACLs, and fractured my kneecap. Yeah, who breaks their kneecap? When I got injured, I wanted to go to where the pro athletes go, so I went to UPMC. The doctors I know and trust have been there to get me back, doing all the crazy things I love to do. I didn't choose to blow out my knees, but I did choose UPMC. Don't spend your time bottled up. Pack up and go. And no matter where you go, bring Rivertown along. Whether you enjoy our smooth Maxwell Scottish Ale or our refreshing Hale Kahiki Pineapple Ale, our advanced technology canning process ensures that Rivertown craft beers taste just as fresh and flavorful no matter where you go. Tailgating with friends or cheering on your hometown team at the ballpark. No matter where you go, enjoy ice-cold Rivertown craft beers. Visit our brewery and take a tour. When you can be social networking, it all includes an online solution. Buy, sell, socialize, monetize, search. Squeaky.com. With 11 grams of fiber and 7 grams of protein, All Natural Barn Dad's Fiber DX manages hunger and a healthy digestive system for proper weight management. Baking with Barn Dad's assures a 44% of daily recommended fiber. Barn Dad's German Chocolate Shake is a fun way for the whole family to enjoy a rich diet in essential fiber and protein. Look for Barn Dad's Fiber DX in the dietary section at GNC, Vitamin Shop, Walgreens, Giant Eagle, and at BarnDadsFiberDX.com. Welcome back to A Day in the Life with Josh Miller. Grampy's team! Grampy's team! Look forward, look forward. All right, good? All right. All right. Is this the best turnout you had so far? Yeah. This is only the third year we've done it, but I, uh, well, this is the best turnout they've ever had, I think. Yeah. Yeah, over 3,000 people. So they usually, they usually set a goal. Um, this is going pretty slow here. I guess we waited till the end last year. Um, they set a goal, um, I think they set a goal for 500 grand to raise, like for the law. And they raised it like a week ago. You know, like it yeah. usually has to come in like afterwards yeah. and everything. Right. So they're already, they're already in 
surpassed it, so that's a good sign. That's awesome. Yeah. How unfair is it in your eyes you see when you see all the stuff on Sports Center, all the stuff that they're, they're selling, all the stuff that our kids are saying, and then clearly you know nine guys in the locker room that are doing unbelievable things like yourself, but that's not sexy enough to be on the TV. Right. I'm just, I'm just I don't I don't really think about it. I I I don't think people I don't think I mean a lot of people are involved in you know charitable things or you know helping out here or volunteering there or coaching a team and that's everybody that's not just athletes it's that's what that's what parents do that's what people do so I don't think athletes definitely or should necessarily you know receive special sort of accolades for that because that's that's just part of being uh, part of your community, and, and most people do that. If you could just speak of Brooks Orphic's impact, uh, obviously you've got a huge contract. A lot of people have an opinion, but those people probably never put skates on. So what he brings to the locker room, and if you could, uh, the other one would just be Sidney Crosby, who really gets a, a, from a distance again from guys that don't know. Um, they, they, they question his leadership. I mean, you don't have to go on to understand this yeah. whole idea. Uh, well, Brooks, I mean, Brooks is, a, is, obviously, he's a very good player, first and foremost. I mean, you know, um, a veteran defenseman that, you know, is solid. You know, you know what you're going to get from him every night. Uh, plays the game really physically. It's not a, he's not a fun guy to run into. And, uh, and you want those guys on your team, obviously, because, uh, you know, it, it sucks to play against guys like that. Yeah. Um, you know, he's a quiet guy. Um, you know, he, 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 he tries to lead by example. Um, so I think I think more than anything, we'll, we'll, we'll miss him on the ice. You know, because just because uh, you know he was a he was a, 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 a steady guy back there, a big part of the penalty kill, things like that. Um, as far as Sid, as far as Sid's concerned, I mean, you know, people, you know, like you said, most people will never meet him or be in the dressing room with him or, or, or anything, you know. They listen to us on the radio right, and yeah. they listen to what we're saying yeah. and they, they run with it, which is Yeah, awful. he's another guy that, that um, you know, he's probably more on the quieter side and, um, you know, you, you have to ask him, but I, I think speaking for him, I think he, you know, he prefers to, to, to go and do something and say, um, you know, watch me, I'm going to go do it. And, and you know, he's a guy that, you know, even in practice that when you're out there with him, he, regardless of what he says or does or doesn't say, he makes you want to be a better player because you just want to, you just want to keep up with him. You know yeah. what I mean? You you, you want to you want to hang with him, whether you're doing a drill against him or uh, you're pushing yourself against him, you're competing against him. So, so he leads in a lot of ways that, that people don't see. You know, the thing I've learned more than anything else is, I just think I just think that, uh, you know a sports team or whatever it's just a cross-section of society yeah. you know it's 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 you're gonna get the same spectrum of you know uh, you know overwhelmingly decent human beings mm -hmm. and a few people that aren't three days a month are you on the ice I, you know at a certain age I, I don't remember I mean I, I I'm looking at these kids now. Yeah. Maybe eight, eight, eight yeah. days, ten days a month. Yeah, no, it's more than it was for right. sure. Yeah, at, at that age, at that age, obviously, as you you get older, you start to to uh, get more. You know, it becomes a bigger commitment and, and and all that sort of thing. And you have to other things have to have to be sacrificed. Um, you know, to be on the ice. But you know, at the, at the young age, I still feel like it's uh, I still feel like kids should be doing a bunch of different things. You know. Um, and I, I also think kids should be, you know, banned from hockey rinks between between May and September. You love the game. You feel the passion. Yeah, Clearly you do. Yeah. No, I love it. I, I it's, um, yeah, I still get excited. I, you know, I. Now you have, have a name tag to wear. It says hello. I'm Craig Adams in this locker room. What the hell happened oh, over there? Yeah. Are you excited about that? Is that? Yeah. I know. I know you don't like how it happened, what happened, and because of what happened. That's the business, right? If you don't yeah. win, expectations and all that. So. But going in now, do you go in a little bit, okay, this is new and it's different and we're gonna see what we have here? Yeah, I think so. I think you, you know, I think your career is usually a sort of, there's an ebb and flow of, of being comfortable and, then, and then, then being out of your comfort zone. And whether you have to play for a new coach or you get traded to a new team or, 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 or you're with the same group of guys for a while, you get comfortable, and that's great. I right. mean, everybody loves to be comfortable, um, 
but at the same time, um, you know, you're forced to deal with change and, you know, usually, hopefully that brings out the best in you and, and, and you know, unfortunately we didn't, we didn't win enough to, to, to stay together. Uh -huh. um, and now, uh, and, and now we got a new coach, we got a new GM, we got new players and, and, you know, sometimes, sometimes you can turn that into a positive. That's a, that's a push, um, you know, that, that pushes you to, uh, you know, you, you have to prove yourself again. Right. Philly, er, Philly fans will probably give him a run for their money, though. I was going to say, it must be a Philly writer, because in Overlook they are the, They are the, yeah. shocking when you go there, like, like the signs that they have in warm-up. Like, it's one thing if you see, like, a, a biker holding, like, a profane sign. You see a, no, you see a 15-year-old girl holding a sign, yeah. the, the things that it says on it, yeah. to Sid. I'm like, how do your parents let you out of the house? Oh, I know. Like, holding a sign like that between your toes. Oh, she's eat, she was eating the raisins, but she started eating them. You wanna go back to the raisins? Oh, she was pretty. Oh. Absolutely. <laughs> so you have did a, you, you have a golf your, swing? Did you eat your donuts already? Yep. How many did you have? Two. What'd you have? Nice. It's so, so funny. My little guy, he has no idea that he's going to be a place kicker. I let him play hockey so he can get his legs strong. <laughs> so his my, you know, grandparents came down and told him, you know, you're not, your real name isn't Miller. It's Mikhailovich. And he's 11. He, that's Russian. I'm like, yeah. He's like, whoa, whoa. So I'm, I'm Caleb Steele Mikhailovich? I'm like, well, technically, I guess on paper, you are. Next time on ice, he's knocking people up. I'm like, what are you doing? You're like a little gentleman. You still sit down to pee. What? Are you, where is this attitude? Yeah. I'm Russian, Dad. This is how they play. I'm like, oh my God. You're a head case, huh? which means you're going to be a kicker. Absolutely hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. A little nervous. How's the team look without Orpic and Niskin and all those guys? It's, it's going to be different. Yeah, we're. Uh, you know, I haven't. We haven't really been together as a team yet. So you know, camp doesn't start till the 18th September. So uh, it's hard to know right now, obviously. But it'll be different. You know, we lost a lot of guys, so it'll be probably. Six or seven or eight new guys, so it'll be different, different feel for sure. I guess your goalie, he's gonna catch your first puck. Oh, you are. Yeah. I hope you don't fall asleep on you. <laughs> right. yeah. We gotta have a little talk then. <laughs> um, you have a good glove hand. Yeah. Good. Good. And he says if he misses it, it's your fault. Well, that's what I was. That's what I was talking about. It's, uh, if I don't tag. Uh, if it's not coming right at you, you need to sh make me look good and catch it wherever it's going. Also, been to states a few times. Oh, have you? Yes. That's any of work. I think they might be changing that format of that. Really? Yeah, I mean, like, anyone else? Who didn't get one? Not all the guys now. I know, not all the guys. Oh, I'm just recording. Okay, cool. All right. All right, cool.
All right, well, then, thank you for coming out, guys. Thanks for coming out. All right. Hey, very nice to meet you guys. Yeah. Well, remember, enjoy the game. Oh, remember what Craig told you, right? Go good. Her. You got this, I can tell. Hey, we'll be down there, don't worry. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Scott. All right. You want to go? I got to go to my first playoff game this year. You got to do this one. This game. There you go. A couple minutes. Her. You're watching A Day in the Life with Josh Miller. We'll be right back. A Day in the Life is brought to you by UPMC, life-changing medicine. Nakama Japanese Steakhouse. You've tried the rest, now try the best. Rivertown Brewing, delivering you the most enjoyable craft beer experience. Athlete Originals, original apparel designs by athletes for their fans. We'll be right back. Despite years of tradition and a legendary family recipe, hey, one question still remains. You know, mom's been making the sauce all day. Gravy. Sauce. Gravy. Ma! Ma. What? It's Bon Jovi! This ain't your mom's sauce. It's my dad's. Bon Jovi brand pasta sauces. Pasta sauces that rock. I have a different outlook on life because it could have been all taken away from me. I came home from college and my mom said it didn't look right. I just thought I had a common cold. I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. It was like a shock to all of us. UPMC took excellent care of me and got me to where I am today. And I'm here, three years in remission. I didn't choose to have cancer, but I did choose UPMC. Don't spend your time bottled up. Pack up and go. And no matter where you go, bring Rivertown along. Whether you enjoy our smooth Maxwell Scottish Ale or our refreshing Halikahiki Pineapple Ale, our advanced technology canning process ensures that Rivertown craft beers taste just as fresh and flavorful no matter where you go. Tailgating with friends or cheering on your hometown team at the ballpark. No matter where you go, enjoy ice-cold Rivertown craft beers. Visit our brewery and take a tour. Every day is bursted with flavor at Selma's Texas Barbecue. Southern style served right. Like Selma's slow-cooked dry ribs smothered with your choice of six flavorful sauces. Or Selma's Wrangler sandwiches like pulled pork, Alabama pulled chicken, turkey grass, beef brisket and fish. Plus daily specials like our pork stuffed baked potato, half chicken and farm raised catfish. Grab group packs or catering for your upcoming shindig. Selma's Texas Barbecue. The real stuff. University Boulevard, Moon Township or visit selmasbbq.com. Welcome back to A Day in the Life with Josh Miller. Uh, 
uh, went to the Stanley Cup Finals. Um, you know, I don't think it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a stylistic thing. I think it's it's more of a question of um, sticking to your game plan and executing as well as you can. It's gonna be that's gonna be different for every team. Um, you try and play your strengths. Pittsburgh. I hope you enjoyed another episode of A Day in the Life. We had a lot of fun hanging out with Craig and Ed Adams. I want to thank them for letting us do that. Very cool of them. And thank you for tuning in and watching us. Stay tuned for other episodes down the road of A Day in the Life.